Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with the bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So, the topic of the reading is, is it over between the two of you? If you are in a situation where you feel like, you know, your connection is over, uh, maybe you recently had a fight, or maybe it's a past situation that you dealt with a person and you really want to reconcile with them, but somehow you're not sure, is it ever going to happen? Uh, or is it over between the two of you forever? then this reading will definitely help you know the answer to that. If there is any chance of reconciliation or is it actually over between the two of you, we're going to find the answer to that in this reading. So stay tuned and I will be adding little cards as well for you in regards to the situation. So before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that uh, resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out uh, other services that I offer as well. So, let's find out where it goes. Is it over between the two of you? Yes or no? Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. The world, the tower, the fool. On either deck, we do have the nine of wands. Um, let me have a moment. I feel like you know the ending that you had uh, with your specific someone. It had been very very hard for your person um it, it 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 wasn't an easy thing for them to deal with as well um but maybe it felt right for the two of you to to, to end the connection that time because maybe it was getting toxic maybe it was getting out of control maybe everything was like you know messing uh things up further so i feel like you know the ending uh that you had was a must even though it wasn't an, it wasn't an easy one um, but I feel like, you know, it, it happened for a reason. And uh, as you move forward, you are going to understand that, you know, it was meant to happen because somehow the toxicity that developed in this connection had to break, had to end, had to, you know, just, you know, uh, free the connection for sure. Um, so I feel like, you know, this, this ending that you had was a must. Um, I do see that it, it is not over yet because I do see things have already started moving forward in regards to this connection. Um, you might not see anything as of now, but yes, um, certain decisions that you and your person were not taking before, now you are taking it. Uh, even if somebody guided you to, uh, you know, to pursue this connection a certain way, maybe you were refusing, maybe your person was also ref refusing. With this ending, the universe has basically prepared you and your person to have that new beginning together, which you otherwise wouldn't have been able to have. Now, it's more like the, sle the, 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 the slate is going to get cleaned before you write a new story on it together. And I feel like you know, this, this ending had provided that time apart, which has made you to understand more um, about your true feelings for each other. Not just that, it has prepared the two of you to be back together in, in the most beautiful way that you never experienced before being with each other or with anybody else out there. So I feel like, you know, right now, maybe you feel like, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, it's nowhere. This connection is nowhere right now for you. And uh, you might at times feel like maybe I just need to just, uh, you know, uh, leave this person behind, leave the situation behind. I just need to kind of, you know, move forward with my life. But then there is something that holds you back from within around this connection. And that's exactly what the divine's plan is. Um, it has prepared you and your person. Um, slowly but surely, I feel like, you know, the connection had had its, uh, uh, maybe, maybe the longest route uh, to, to the fruition of what you desire with this person. But I do see a new beginning coming in quick um, for the two of you. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, uh, even uh, when you are apart, even when you are like you know, not talking to each other, neither you nor your person is ready to open up to meet somebody new. There has been this inner pull, the sense of belonging, which had always stopped the two of you from moving on to different individuals. There had been this something which stopped the two of you from moving forward to another relationship. The God has been kind of, you know, 
uh, protecting this connection between the two of you is what I'm picking up very strongly. So I don't think that this connection is over, not at all. I do see a new beginning coming in, but yes, after the two of you have evolved as an individual, and that's how you are going to start a new chapter together very soon. Let's see uh, what is it that your person is currently feeling for you. Let's find out what is it that they're currently feeling for you. <clears throat> what is it that your person is currently feeling for you? Two of Wands, Ten of uh, Cups. On either deck, we do have Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you know, your person is uh, pretty much attracted towards you right now. Like I said, things have already started moving. Maybe they have been checking your pictures. Uh, past messages lately um, they have been intending to have something beautiful with you like maybe they are missing you maybe they are like you know thinking about you and they are wishing like you know to have those uh, beautiful moments together again uh, so I feel like you know this person has been having um, thoughts about you and uh, uh, they would they would really like to have something beautiful with you because uh, with the six of cups too I feel like you know, this person is really missing you a lot um, so I do see that this is definitely not over um, you will be having a reconciliation and I feel like, you know, it's going to be, um, it, it, for majority of you, I feel like, you know, it's going to last forever. So, um, let's see some Oracle cards here. Let's see what the Oracle has to add to the read for you guys. <clears throat> Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. It's very important for you to make plans around how do you uh, wish to see this connection growing. Uh, make plans and uh, then focus on what you desire, not otherwise. Let's see more cards here. Seer, see beyond current situation. I feel like, you know, like I said earlier, maybe right now you don't see things coming, but trust me, there is something happening behind the curtains right now which you are unaware of and it's going to get you what you desire with this person so definitely it's not over why is one grow within your current situation i feel like you know again it, it could have been a twin flame journey for some of you as well where you know the universe wanted you to learn something uh or the other before you could come together to start a beautiful chapter together and be the mature one so you could handle each other and this connection better way uh, on either deck, we do have the great teacher, learn from spiritual experience. I feel like you know, it's going to make the two of you grow um, very close to your divine as well as you as you uh, set yourself on this journey of, uh, you know, getting to uh, getting back to each other is what I'm picking up. So I feel like, you know, a reconciliation is a must happening in this connection. Uh, but yes, um, as you wait, while you wait, you've got to kind of, you know, um, understand one thing. You have to keep yourself positive and the universe is going to get the two of you back together very soon. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it helped you, do like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care and bye-bye.